Dejour Russell was one of the biggest prospects in Jamaican high school athletics. The tank-like young man truly emerged in 2015 with his 100-meter victory at the Jamaican High School Championships. But it was not until 2017 that he rose to super status, winning the high school championships in a new record of 13.32 seconds, surpassing the mark held by Omar McLeod, and then a gold at the World Youth Championships in a championship record of 13.04 seconds, a time that ranked him third all-time for youths. A year later, he made it to the Commonwealth Games final at 18 years old and also managed to run 13.32 seconds over senior height in the hurdles, a time which placed him seventh all-time in the country's history then. He was defeating the likes of Rashid Broadbell, Orlando Bennett, Philip Lamonius, guys who are among the best in the country and the world right now. But as for Russell, he has been far off the standards expected since leaving high school. He left high school competition in 2019, and it took him three years before he would make a comeback to the track, doing so at the Bermuda Invitational, opening his 2022 season in a fifth place finish with a 14.58 seconds, an underwhelming time, but it was done in a heavy 3.8 headwind. A couple months later, he competed inside Kingston for the first time since those three years, and this time he won and dropped an impressive time of 13.46 seconds at the Jubilee Series. Following that momentum-building win, he spoke about working with legendary coach Fitz Coleman and alongside the reigning Olympic champion Hansel Parchment. But it was also revealed how the ghost of his past took him out for three years. That momentum was easily cut short seeing that at the Jamaican National Championships, he was eliminated in the prelims. The following year, 2023, he remained healthy enough throughout the season and managed to put a solid amount of runs together ending the season with two wins and a season best of 13.39 seconds, going under 13.4 for the first time in six years. Yes, he did not hit the heights that were expected out the gate, but those can come down to mainly two things, which are weight issues and injury issues. Now, the weight is very visible. We can see that he is not the typical hurdler, but he made it work as a team. However, as an adult, it creates way more issues than we think. Secondly, injuries can be seen as the main issue, and in 2017, when he broke the Class 1 record, might have been the fatal mistake with injury that was made. Despite suffering from hamstring injuries, he still competed, won and broke the record. Impressive, sure, but it played a pivotal role in injury issues going forward due to that mismanagement. We saw a year later he had to skip the World Junior Championships, and then in 2019 was unable to defend his champs title, and then eventually it led to three whole years out of the sport. Luckily for Russell, he is still young, but moving forward, injury management has to be a top priority, because if he is to recover from mistakes of the past, making the same mistakes at the senior level could become more destructive. The clock, it is another record for Dejo Russell, the outstanding athlete from Calabar.